Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, it's good to be back with you uh, once again. And uh, today I've got something um, interesting to talk uh, with you about, something that I think many people in the uh, sports simulation uh, scene might not be fully familiar with. Anyway, I won't mince any words. I've written about this before, but uh, this just came up again the other day, so I figure it's probably worth to uh, talk about. Um, so uh, here is uh, my screen. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger huh, so we can see what's actually going on. There we go. We'll put that up to uh, 200. That might make it at least somewhat visible for you. This is on the uh, Replay Sports uh, Games forum, which um, you might have visited if you play Replay Baseball. I'll be honest with you, right? I visited this forum, and I don't play Replay Baseball. I bought the basketball game once years ago and never actually had time to play it. I do have the Replay uh, Baseball game on my list, but, um, I mean, if you look behind me, I'll go back here to the camera view, you will see that there's not a whole bunch of, like, games stacked up and stuff like that. It's because we're trying to do this paperless as much as we can. It's the uh, Mary Kondo method, right? Uh, something that, uh, you know, very feminine people like me really uh, subscribe to. Anyway, all uh, editorial comments aside, um, this comes from Mike Mateus, um, who uh, is kind of a legend in the replay world. Um, he decided to uh, write on the anniversary of his beginning with replay baseball um, every single year in this uh, thread. I'll put a link to this uh, thread um, somewhere in the uh, uh, somewhere down below um, in the descriptions. You can check it out yourself. So this thread starts in uh, 2005 um, where he talks about how in his first game with Replay Baseball, he played 1,634 games um, in that year. Now to put it in context, I've done this project now for what, about six, maybe seven months. I've played maybe like, I don't know, 300 something games individually, not, not just including games that are on camera, also with games off camera, but um, playing 1600 games in a year while you're working is like impossible in my mind. I don't know if you didn't have any other hobbies, if this is all you did, I could like kind of see it. But for me at some point in time, I've got to do something else, right? I have a lot of other hobbies and hobbies and things like that. People right away were saying, uh, this is Pete at Replay Games. And Pete's a great guy, by the way, if you don't know that already, that's why we, uh, we like replay a lot. Pete says that you probably have set an all-time replay record for most games played in the first year and perhaps any single year. Yeah, you think that's good? Just wait. So the most recent update here comes, and I actually responded to this thread, it looks like a couple times. Um, there we go. This is what we want. Yeah. Here is the most recent response to this. So, um, in fact, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cheat a little bit here and uh, save this one for my own purposes. But um, the most recent response that uh, Mike has to this form, to this uh, thread, is that he has played uh, 2,556 games between uh, what would this be? Uh, uh, July 18th, 2022, and uh, July 17th, 2023. That includes completing his replays for 1970 and 1934 and uh, starting up his uh, current 1971 season. I mean, this guy in the space of less than 10 years has played 31,944 individual games of replay baseball, which is like incredible. Like, let's talk about how incredible this is, right? If you haven't seen, uh, you know, Pop! OS before, now you have. We'll go ahead, pull out this uh, little calculator and just take a look, right? So 31,144 divided by, what is that, 19 years? Uh, whoops, let me do it right. <laughs> 0944 divided by 19. See if I can write my numbers right. So he's averaging 1,681 games a year. But when you take a look at this and see how he's played, you can see that there was a huge um, amount of play at the beginning. And then it went down a little bit for a while. And then it kind of slowly built back up. But then here in recent years, it's really taken off, especially starting with COVID when he had more time at home, right? More time to just sit back and play. I mean, playing 2,000 games in a year is incredible. 2,000 games is like playing an entire like modern season like one of those 26 team seasons he's getting to the point where he could play an entire 30 team season um you know on his own if he really wanted to so that's pretty impressive right <laughs> i mean 19 years right you divide that by 365 and you can see that he's playing almost five games a day right so i've said this before like i like to play these games a lot i can play some games in a day I could probably play four games every once in a while. I couldn't play four games a day every single day. And he's doing this um, by hand, by the way. It's interesting the way that he uh, does his replays. He'll play by hand, and then he will uh, use some program that he has to input the statistics, and then he does statistical an analysis after the fact. Now, I mean, we will have our own opinions on how this stuff works. I would probably take a different approach. I also wouldn't do sort of a haphazard um, approach to playing seasons. Instead, I like to start from one and just kind of move into the future so that you have some 
continuity. But, you know, to each his own. Um, and the other thing you got to know about uh, Mike is that he's not just playing uh, these games. He's also reporting on them. Let's see if we can find um, one of his replayer results uh, forms. And here we go, 1971 replay. I was following the 34 replay for a little while. You can see here this is like a random. Wednesday, 21st, 1971. He's got some news stories that he's copied out from the newspaper, and uh, he has write-ups of every single game, very, very short ones. You'll notice he doesn't do my thing where you have a whole blog post for every game. And then at the end of the day, he has the standings, and then he has with tomorrow's games and the uh, probable starters and all that other stuff. Now, I believe he's using real-life lineups and transactions, which is probably part of the reason why he knows all of this, right? This all goes back to, like, replaying theory, right? Do you really want to do it exactly the same as real life, or do you want to do it a little bit differently, right? Man, the Orioles are playing really, really well. That tells me that uh, there might be some tweaks that need to be made there to the game because that's a little bit better than they should be at this stage of the season, Right. And uh, then you get, you know, people who talk back and stuff like that and offer their uh, feedback. But now check this out. Check out the day that he posts. So this is posted on June 20th. And then the very next day on June 21st, he has played the entire slate of games for that day. I mean, how many games is it that he's played? Well, let's count them. Right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He played 10 games, including a 10-inning game, in a single day, right? Now, I know that Mike is retired. He's talked about that as well. You know, he has the time to do this for his hobby, and this is what his main hobby is. He's playing replay. He's played it for years. I'm guessing it probably takes him maybe 20 minutes to play a game. Think about how fast it is for me to play an MP3 game when I'm on camera, right? It's probably about the same, right? But still, I mean, this is a really impressive pace. And I'm not just talking about, oh, yeah, well, every once in a while he does this, right? Again, if we go on, I haven't looked at this thread before, so that was on June 21st, right? If we go on to the next page, what we're going to see on the next page is that June 23rd is the day that he has the next day's games, right? So he did it again, right? And then when we go on to the next uh, day's games, that's going to be on what? June 24th. Right. I mean, so this is what's happening. He's playing like an entire day's worth of games or maybe a little bit more in a day. It's taking him one or two days to finish every single one of these days uh, games in uh, uh, every day of real life games. I mean, what that does and what that allows him to do is allows him to play at this like absolutely frenetic pace that lets him get through a full season. Right. Really, really quickly. I mean, within a year, which, which is incredible. Right. The way that he's doing this is the exact same way that used to take a lot of guys in the hobbies, you know, like four or five years to uh, finish up a season. This is impressive. This is probably the most impressive replay, well, replay baseball game. I would talk about like baseball simulation project I've ever seen. I mean, this to me is more impressive than all of the autoplay replays, not the other stuff I've ever seen, because this guy is playing this all by hand and doing all of this by hand. It really is an amazing thing, and that's kind of why I wanted to call it out. Now, I said this before. I don't know about you, like, I'm not going to be able to do that, right? I mean, as cool as it is, there's absolutely no possible way that I could sit down and play, like, 8 to 10, you know, individual games in a single day, right? I have other things to do. If I had that kind of time, I would be doing something else. I want to write, like, a post. I want to, like, do my real job. I want to read something. I want to go learn something. I want to, you know, mess around with some stuff, right? I mean, this is dedication. This is absolute devotion to this single hobby and, like, who cares about anything else? But having said that, like, it's really impressive. It really is impressive. And it's the sort of thing that happens in this hobby that we just don't talk about a lot and a lot of people don't know about. And so now you know about it. So if you have a chance, you know, go check out, you know, Mike from uh, Knoxville. Check out his forums. I will also put a link down below to uh, his homepage where you can check out some of the uh, scores and some of the uh, summaries and so on that he's uh, written um, about these seasons. To be honest with you, you know, before I uh, started um, this current project, I was uh, very, very um, tempted uh, to just completely leave the world of baseball simulations altogether. And um, my fascination with what Mike has been doing was actually the thing that got me interested in this again. Um, that was the thing that uh, made me uh, think that, uh, you know, okay, I probably should, uh, you know, give this another try, especially when I was realizing that um, I was spending a lot of time reading his summaries, even when I told myself, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to look at this. I'm, I'm going to go do something better with my life or whatever. Yeah, that's this guy's probably in terms of baseball simulation probably is my biggest inspiration. So there you go. There's my uh, slight tribute to him. And um yeah, don't expect me to play 2,600 games in a year.
that's not going to happen. Talk to you later. Bye.